So the next topic in the module 1 of basic electronics is the voltage multiplier. Okay. So what is meant by a voltage multiplier? Voltage multiplier is a device which multiplies the output voltage. Suppose that if V in maximum V in is equal to V m then the output is going to be 2 times or multiples of the Vm. If it is a doubler, it will be 2 times Vm. If it is a tripler, it will be 3 times Vm. If it is a quadrupler, it will be 4 times Vm. It goes on. Okay. So as per your syllabus, you are going to study the two different types of multiplier, voltage multiplier. The first one is called as your voltage doubler. Okay. Voltage doubler. And the second one is your voltage tripler. Okay, voltage tripler. So, what is meant by voltage doubler? So, voltage doubler. So, if the input is maximum input is Vm, then the output is going to be 2 times of Vm. Similarly, what is voltage tripler? Voltage tripler, if the input maximum input is Vm, then the output is going to be 3 times of Vm. Okay, these are the uh, two. Uh, different types which you are going to study in this chapter. So some of the applications of these voltage multiplier are like so the applications are in TV, cathode ray tube, okay, then x-rays, then you have uh, photocopy machines, then you have traveling wave tube, etc. Okay, so these are some of the applications. So let us take the first diagram that is first uh, explanation of the voltage doubler. Okay. So let me take another paper. Voltage doubler. So in voltage doubler circuit if you add a diode and a capacitor you can double the output voltage. Okay. So what is your uh, input Signal 240 volt main signal which is a sinusoidal signal right transformer connected to the step down so this was your uh, what diode D1 and capacitor C1 of half wave right so now if I add along with this one more diode that is D2 along with one capacitor C2 then I can double the output voltage okay so Vl. So what will be your V0? V0 is equal to if this voltage is equal to maximum voltage is Vm then V0 will be equal to 2 times of Vm. Okay. So this is your circuit diagram. Let us consider two cases. Case 1. Okay. During positive half cycle of the input signal. During positive half cycle. So what will happen during the positive half cycle? This will become positive, this will become negative. Okay, so this is condition 1. This is positive, this is negative. So when it is positive, the diode D1 will be forward bias. Diode D2 will be reverse bias. Okay, so diode D1 will be forward bias and diode D2 will be reverse bias. Okay, now can you draw the uh, diagram once again? So you will be having the transformer 240 volt. Here your maximum voltage is stepped down. Okay. Vm. Now the diode D1 will act as a closed switch. You have the capacitor C1. Now what will happen to your diode D2? D2 will act as an open switch. So there is no connection. Okay. C2. Okay. V0. Now, now this is acting as a closed switch. So here it is positive, here it is negative. So what will be the, how will be the direction of the current flow positive to negative. Okay. Now during this time the capacitor C1 will charge from uh, positive to negative, right. Uh, it will charge to the peak value Vm. So the capacitor value will be equal to Vm. Okay. This is for the condition 1. Now for case 2. Case 2 during the negative half cycle during the negative half cycle of input signal what will happen when here it is negative here it is positive this is condition 2 okay 
second condition. So during negative here diode D1 will be reverse bias and diode D2 will be forward bias, right? D2 will be forward bias. Now can I draw this circuit once again? So this will be a 240 volt, right? Transformer T1, here also T1. Now how will your circuit look like? Diode D1 will be reverse bias. So it will act as an open switch. Diode D2 will be forward bias. So already it has been C1 is charged to, what is the value? C1 is charged to Vm, right? Okay. C1. Voltage is Vm. Now what will happen to your second diode? Second diode will act as a closed switch. So here there will be conduction. So here it is C2. Now what will be your sign here? It will be negative. Here it will be positive. What will be the maximum? Vm. So what will be your, how will be your current flow? It will be from positive to negative, right? So the current flow, let me take another color. So positive, it will pass through the capacitor and it will reach the negative. So this is the circuit, uh, the current flow direction. So now what will happen? The capacitor will charge from positive to negative, okay? To the peak value Vm. So now since the two capacitors C1 and C2 are connected in series, the output will be equal to, the output voltage will be equal to the sum of the two capacitor voltages Vc1 plus Vc2 which is equal to Vm plus Vm which is equal to 2 Vm. Okay. Now these uh, outputs can be also obtained using Kirchhoff voltage law since it is not included, derivation is not included new syllabus uh, I am proceeding with just the working principle okay now just uh, now let's see the next circuit that is of a voltage tripler okay now going on to the voltage tripler so voltage tripler your diagram is given by so what is meant by voltage tripler your input if the maximum voltage is Vm the output is going to be 3 Vm, okay? Now, we are going to add, in addition to uh, the previous case, we are going to add one more diode and capacitor. So, the diagram given is, input is equal to 240 volt, okay? T1, secondary of the transformer. So, what will be your maximum voltage will be equal to Vm. Now, we have three pairs of, diode and capacitor. Let me take this as diode D1. So let me proceed with the diagram in your text. So this will be your diode D1. Okay. From this diode D1 you have a capacitor which is connected. That is going to be your capacitor C2. This is your capacitor C2. C2 will be connected to the diode D2. Okay. Now this will be your diode D2. From the D2, you are going to connect the third diode that is your diode D3 to which you have the capacitor C3. Okay, so this is your diagram. Okay, now so C1, C2, C3. So now D1 will charge C1, D2 will charge C2, D3 will charge C3. So let me give the polarity plus minus D2 will charge C2. So here it is plus minus D3 will charge C3. So it is plus minus. Okay. Now what will be your input? Vm. Output is going to be V0 is equal to 3 Vm. Okay. Okay. Now let me simplify this diagram for your understanding. Okay. Let me draw the simplified circuit. So the simplified circuit will be So this will be your input of your transformer, 240 volt, which is nothing but your sinusoidal signal, T1, secondary of your transformer, okay. Now you have C1, this will be your C1, to which I am just reconfiguring the circuit, okay, to which your diode D1 will be connected. Now you have D2. 
this will be your capacitor C2. Again you have the diode D3. You have the capacitor C3. Since your capacitor C1 and C3 are in series, I am going to take the voltage across C1 and C3. So what should be your voltage across C1 and C3? It should be equal to 3 times of Vn. Okay. So let us go with the working principle, not uh, the derivation. So let us consider the first case, case 1. So what is your case 1? Since your diode is negative, we, are assumed, uh, we have assumed from the negative half cycle. So uh, the case 1 is during the negative half cycle. During the negative half cycle of the input signal. Of the secondary. Okay. Now what happens during the negative half cycle? So let me draw the diagram once again. 240 volt. T1. So this will be C1. So now during the negative half cycle, here it becomes negative, the opposite side will be positive. So during negative, which uh, diodes will be forward biased? You have diode D1 forward biased, okay, and diode D3 forward biased. So here diode D1 will be and D3 will be forward biased, whereas diode D2 will be reverse biased, right? So if I draw the circuit, so the diode D1 and D3, so it will be acting as a closed switch, diode D1 will be forward biased, you have the capacitor C2, now D2 will be reverse biased, so it will be acting as an open switch, right? Now you have diode D3, example, okay, now you have diode D3 is also forward biased, so it will be acting as a closed switch, you have the capacitor here, which is C3, okay? So this is diode D1. D2, D3. So D1 is on, D3 is on, D2 is off. So this is going to be your circuit. Okay. So here it is negative. Here it is positive. Okay. Now what happens during the negative half cycle? What is the voltage here? Vm, right? D1 is on. D3 is also on. But here the potential is zero, right? So D3 will not uh, conduct C3 will not charge. So what is happening to your uh, current circuit? How the current will flow? The D1 will be on once you get the negative voltage. The D1 will be on and it charges the capacitor C1. What will be the current flow? This will be your path. Okay, positive to negative. So the charge, the C1 will be charging to Vm. Okay, this will be your first circuit, first circuit, first case. Okay, now let's see the second case. During the second case, what happens? Now, during the positive half cycle of the input signal, during the positive half cycle of input signal, during the positive half cycle, what will happen now? Here it is going to be positive and here it is going to be negative. Here it is going to be positive, negative. So, let me draw the circuit once again for the second case for 240 volt transistor T1. Okay. Now capacitor C1 has already charged to Vm, okay. Now you have diode D1. So in this case, what are the diodes which is forward bias? Here it will be positive, negative, right? So during positive, negative, diode D2 will be forward biased. D1 and D3 will be reverse biased. So D2 will be forward biased. Diode D1 and D3 will be reverse biased, okay. Now. Now how will your circuit look like? Now diode D1 is reverse biased. So it will be acting as an open switch. D1. You have your capacitor C2. Now D2 is forward biased. So it will be acting as a closed switch. Okay. Now diode D3 is again open switch. So you don't have the connection. It is open circuit. So this will be your C1. This will be your C3. Okay. So this is going to be your circuit of your second case. Now second case what happens? Here it will be positive, here it is negative, again you have Vm, okay. Now you have only one path, here you have only one path that, that is D2. Now what will happen, so as soon as you get the positive voltage, see here, here the capacitor C1 do not have the uh, path to discharge because D1 is open. So what will happen, 
it will charge uh, the uh, your con current conduction will be from positive to negative through your diode c2 charging the uh, capacitor c2 so the what will be the potential difference here vm it is acting like here you have a vm and here you have vm uh, plus minus minus plus so it will be acting you imagine of a uh, it's looking like a, a two batteries in series right so the potential here will be equal to 2 vm so the capacitor will c2 will charge to 2 vm so the direction polarity will be plus to minus okay so this will be your second uh, case now moving on to the third case now what is your third case in your third case case 3 first negative is over positive is over for the next negative half cycle that is repetition like the first cycle next negative half cycle okay for the next negative half cycle what are the diodes will be it is uh, similar to that of your first uh, cycle right so diode d1 and d3 diode d1 and d3 will be forward biased and diode d2 will be reverse biased so what will, you, uh, what will be your circuit looking like again i am going to draw the circuit so it will be 240 volt okay transistor t1 here you have what will be the polarity here it will be negative here it will be positive again you have the negative vm coming on already your c1 has charged to vm okay now diode d1 is again forward bias so it will be acting as a closed switch okay now you have c2 is which is already charged to what was the value minus sorry minus plus the value was 2 vm right okay now what will be your uh, next uh, uh, diode d2 D2 will be acting as an open switch because it is reverse bias. Then you have diode D3 which is again on which will be acting as your closed switch. You have your capacitor C3. Now you have only one capacitor to get charged. Okay. So what will happen to your circuit now? Your D1 is also forward bias. D3 is also forward bias. D2 is reverse bias. So as soon as you get the negative voltage, what will be your potential difference here? It will be zero. So D1 will not conduct. Now the path only path which is available is D3. So what will be your current direction? The current direction will be through D3 through C3 to the negative. So what will be your potential here? Potential here is now equal to 2 Vm. So the capacitor C3 will charge to the value 2 Vm. Okay. So now if I take the output across C1 and C2 because it is serious V0 will be equal to 2 Vm plus Vm which is nothing but 3 Vm. So this will be the working principle of your tripler. Uh, if you can see this circuit, second circuit, it will be same as the first cycle. So for example, if I take a paper and see here, this is your first cycle. Just similar to that, if I keep the paper here, now with this source, this will be your third cycle which is similar to that of your first cycle. Okay. First cycle it is similar to that of your third cycle. Okay.